guys, my name is Laura and in this video we are unboxing my first ever printer. It's from a brand HP and it's called DeskJet 2710OE and it can print out in color and of course in black and it can also scan. First of all, I am showing you everything that is included in the package. So you basically get a setup guide, a cable, of course the printer and you also get two inks. I bought this printer because it was already too tiring to always go to a store when I need to print something and I also wanted to upgrade my small business level and actually get a printer that I can print my stickers at home. The printer costs around 50 euros, making it the most affordable HP printer and I really wanted to see how it works. At first look, I think it looks beautiful, it is not too small, not too big, it is very light and I love the white color. Here I am just setting up my printer to the place where I want it to be and I think this is going to be a good place for my printer because it has a lot of space and it is just not close to anything else. Now here comes the real unpacking and really just setting it up. Getting this printer was really exciting for me because I've never had printer before and I was just so excited that I will be able to print my stickers at home. So it is a very exciting ex experience, but I also have no idea how to do it. So I basically spent the whole afternoon trying to set it up. I just also want to let you know that I did not film the whole process of me setting it up for the Wi-Fi because I had a little trouble with it because I am not using like home Wi-Fi, I am using my data from my mobile phone as a Wi-Fi source. So I think that was kind of a bit difficult for the printer to realize and for me to connect it. I hope this makes sense because I was also very worried that the printer wouldn't work because of that, but at the end, after a couple of hours, it actually was working, it just needed to connect to both my phone and also my laptop. And since they are both using the same Wi-Fi source, maybe that was a bit of trouble, but then again, somehow, I don't even know how I managed to do it. As you can see now, I was just setting up the cable so that I can plug it in and that was when the real setup began. So with this setup, things actually started pretty well. I downloaded this app, I added my first printer and got started, but then again I was unable to basically connect to my printer, so I actually left out this part of the video, but I'm sure if you get it, you will able to really know how it works because it's not that difficult. Naturally, I had a lot of failures, but then again, I managed to do this right and I did not film uh, how I'm using this ink because I was very scared that I wouldn't do something wrong. But it is also very simple, you just unpack it from the package and then you put the ink in this little container. It is actually pretty simple, but at the same time I was using HP videos to make sure that I'm setting up everything right. Now this wouldn't be a real review if I didn't put some kind of test to it and I decided to create this template that I created on Canva that I used to actually export it and then print it out. But for that I was of course using my designs that I am making in Procreate and then I just saved that to my camera and then I uploaded those designs that I made on Canva. In the future I will actually experiment more, I will see what works and what not, maybe whether it is better to actually export everything in PDF, but that will be of course in the future and I'm going to be having a lot of fun with it. But for now, to just really see the way the colors are, I decided to go with like this easy way. And it is a good thing that I was previously drawing a lot of spring designs and spring kind of stickers because they have a lot of beautiful colors and it would be a shame if the printer wouldn't be able to actually showcase all of those amazing colors. 
and now as you can see i'm just uploading everything to canva and i chose this like a4 size because of course that would be the most accurate for the printer and then i'm just setting up everything how i want it to be and actually i wanted to use the space as much as possible so that i wouldn't waste the paper of course if you have procreate for drawing or actually any kind of app for it you don't have to use canva you can just make like this little template from that very app but for now i decided to go with canva as i was filming this video the very first day that the printer arrived i didn't have any special kind of papers i was just using like this plain a4 paper in a white color but then after a few days i actually bought real sticker paper and i cannot wait until i actually use that paper because right now this those aren't exactly stickers if you cannot stick them but this is like just for experiment right now and to actually see how the printer is working and how the colors are and now let's go to the fun part shall we I just turned on my printer and I set up everything that was in the mode for printing out and that was basically it. And now I'm just also showing you because I forgot to mention that, that I was having a lot of trouble with how you basically set up the paper on this little tray so that it can be printed out. If you don't set it perfectly, it will not be printing out and that is very important. Here you have this little hook, which you have to actually attach to the paper so that it is very nice and secure. And that is basically it. You just find a photo that you want to be printing. You just select what kind of print quality and also color option you want. And that is basically it. Simple as that. As I said earlier, I think it is very important to actually play around with the settings and to find what works best for you. A little spoiler is that I actually really, really like the results. But first, let's check out the way it is printing and in real speed. And that is basically it. Here are the final results. I have to admit that it is kind of slow when it comes to printing out, but honestly, for me, the speed doesn't really matter. What matters is the quality. You can be the judge of how it turned out, but in my opinion, I really, really like it. Let's actually go through some pros and cons of this printer. The first best thing is that it's very cheap, it is under $50. And that's why I think that the quality for it is pretty good. I love that it has this option where you get 6 months of free ink and it actually arrives at your address. And I really enjoy that it works with Wi-Fi and I like the app where you can track your ink and also your subscription. The cons would be that even though it prints great for the price that you get, it is not the highest of high quality. Also, it only supports letter and A4 format, so basically you cannot print any larger prints. And the last con that I can think of is that it's kind of slow when it prints in color, but honestly, I don't mind this one. So this is it from this video. I really hope that you liked it and that you found your answer whether to actually purchase this printer or not and we're gonna see each other very soon with shop update with those stickers bye